I said I noticed how all the episodes start with Re in this show, and this is the one Re that I didn't want to see. Regret. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this episode now, man. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers episode 6. Last episode, we had the realization that Ken dies August 3rd, that, well, we thought that was going to be with a conf conflict against Mikey, but it turns out that conflict might be against Mobius, another whole gang, and it turns out Ken has easily the biggest heart in all of the entire gang, and I love him, and I want him to never die, so you're gonna, I'm going to jump in and go back in time, save my goddamn self if uh, Takamichi can't, so we're going to see what happens. I am very excited. I know shit is going to go down. Very complex show. Love it to death. Super excited. I'm going to hop into it. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all of the shows I'm watching, four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description like always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell down below so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok, Dapper Darius. And then don't forget we have a PO box if you guys ever want to send me any art, fan mail, anything like that. Links for everything in the description like always. Let's hop into this. Tokyo Revengers, episode six, Regret. All right, they're leaving the hospital after visiting the girlfriend. Takashi's cool, I won't lie. I don't know whether to call him Mitsuya or Takashi, but he is dope. I like his hair, I like his earring, I like his personality so far. So he was coming to pick up Mikey, okay. <laughs> Jana! Episode six, Regret. The Red Light District, that's the new episode, that's the new season of Demon Slayer, the Red Light District. Jesus. Jesus. I mean, they're friendly, they seem nice, but do not say that to a kid. <laughs> I find that there are a lot of people in fucked up situations who tend to. Ooh, I like the. I like he came up with the nickname early. Getting a tattoo early too. You're a man, ain't you? It hurts so bad. I know a lot of people can say like they're. If you cannot react to a tattoo, pen, you're a savage. I'll give you that. Fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, sadly, he's not going to make it to adulthood, my boy. My boy's in fifth grade beating up older boys. Hide when you see the dragon. I'm dracking, baby. <laughs> Literally beat the. He had no pants when they were done with him. Literally. So, is this how they met? Mikey made a name for himself taking down the Vatican's leader. Look at young fucking Ken. Such a go-getter. <laughs> Damn, look at a young Mikey. Looks a lot like him. Same eyes, too. Oh. He's like, I mean, I'm not gonna force you, but if if you if you wanted to come, you know. This is the start of a very interesting relationship right here. I wonder what Mikey's gonna say to these older kids. Tootsie Pop pulled out and everything. The 
the one thing I'll give to Mikey to that I would definitely gives him the benefit of the doubt in terms of his strength, his speed, his mo- everything. He's just fucking, he's nasty. This is older brother. He keeps mentioning how dope and badass his older brother was and how he was also in a gang. And his older brother's 10 years older than him. I don't know if you guys are aware, but most older brothers, especially when a younger brother, and they happen to be delinquents, they will teach their younger brothers a thing or two. You know, I would not be surprised if Mikey got his ass whooped from his older brother a time or two. You know, okay, Mikey. No hesitation. Why is a badass like you? Back, so he can recognize it too. Fuck yeah. This is the start of the best fucking duo in the show. Oh, I didn't even realize Mikey had the dragon on his neck. That's dope as fuck. Is this Mike? Oh, is that present Mikey? Oh. Okay, so it came back out of the blue. Okay, so I was just like, wait, wait, how is Takamichi in the future? He came back out of a blue emergency, was telling... Um, Naoto to find Osanai, who, if I remember, is the leader of the Mobius. So now we're full on direct towards Mobius to try to find information. Okay, I just wanted, I was like, whoa, we're back in the present. And then we saw President Mikey, too. I want to see him so bad. What's Osanai from Mobius doing now, 12 years in the future? Is he in jail? Is he still a leader of a gang? What's. Is he. I was like, is that Osanai? He's a construction worker. Just a typical dude. It's, I mean, you have a pretty similar scenario to that. You were a delinquent to being, like, working at, like, a movie rental place, like a blockbuster. So, you know, like, time changes people. I, I just want to know what specifically happened. Naoto was in full police mode, full interrogation. So we're gonna get another layer added to this. That was just the trigger. Okay. Yep, just another layer. Okay. Who the fuck is his? Tell me why we haven't even formally introduced ourselves to him, but tell me why I have a feeling it's Kisaki. It was all a part of his plan. What the fuck? I'm telling you, the layers just keep stacking up. What were you gonna say, Osanai? I wanna know. Only thing I can think of is Kisaki to like take up the spot Draken had. Okay. Damn, they fucking they made it look like they were fucking about to do some Mortal Kombat fighting with that. That was cool. What's up, Akun? It's weird seeing Akun again. Especially after what happened last time, I know. <sighs> Such a good dude, I feel so bad for him, but... <laughs> Woo! That's some good times right there, good friends. Good moments. I remember back in the day when I... It was for me, it was more the peg legs in the back, but I remember riding with homies. Really? A hair? I could see it. You got that dope hair. You got that knuckle hair from Hunter Hunter. I love it. He looks like that one dude from Yu Yu Hakusho. I've never seen Yu Yu Hakusho, but he has the same exact hair as him. Damn near. It looks dope, though. Just letting you know, we always here for you. 
If you're ever going through anything, Akun, you ever feel like you need to talk, me and my boy Takamichi got you. Always going to be here for you. Shouts out, Akun. Shouts out, Takamichi. Always check up on your friends, guys. Send them a, send them a text. You never know what. You never know what they're going through. I'm gonna look up Pa Chan's uh, voice actor. I definitely recognize him. Yeah, in my opinion, this is not a good plan. To, to try to convince them without actually having any hard evidence or anything? Okay. Well, you were never going to convince him anyway, so it's good to know. He's all crying. He's serious, you know. Shout out to my boy Takamichi. Don't tell me Takamichi is what started the internal conflicts. Dick cheese. I know. Seeing it's crazy. Osanai from the past to present, so different. Takamichi past to present, so different. This makes time really does do that to people. It's crazy. I don't think I can't. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to be like L. Like fucking light Yagami. Think of a plan, right? I can't. This is crazy. Oh man. Uh, one thing that I will say that gives this show something like more stakes than something like ReZero when it comes to the, the, the time travel is that there is no do-overs like because time is running parallel from the past and, and the present if you if he fucks up which he seems he's doing right now it is only going to cause issues in the future like he can't just go back to before he did this whole warehouse thing and change that again because this is like parallel it's actually it's so crazy it's such a unique concept and i, I do not think this was the right play um, I think this might have been the cause of some internal strife between Mikey and Ken. I don't know. I, I want to know who the one pulling the strings is. I can only think Kisaki. And I want to know how that relates to Osanai, how that relates to Takamichi, how that relates to everything. Because we're six episodes in and we've only seen Kisaki once. Osanai is coming and saying this is war, baby. And oh my. And this is so different because this is supposed to happen August 3rd. Or maybe we're going to have another fight August 3rd. But. Is shit actually changing? Because I don't know. I don't know. Man, I don't know. This is so interesting. You know a show is fantastic when it makes me talk so much throughout the episode and so much shit goes on. And I'm not writing anything down. It's because I'm literally just so enthralled in the episode. Fuck. I need to write more stuff down. Oh, man. This, this episode was fantastic. I cannot wait to find out what happens. So good seeing Akun again. It was just uh, the hairstyle this thing. Uh, Takamichi has a newfound motivation, and I love it. I don't know where it's going to go, though. Next episode is going to be crazy. I got to watch it here in a second. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. All that jazz. I will catch you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad. Thank you, guys.